Alright, this is the response to the statement that Randy Orton sucks, and, well, I figured I'd try and refute some of these points in order of most important to least important. Well, let's start off with his bad promos. You say he has bad promos because he's not really that hype, and he does that thing where he has, like, that really deep voice, and he says things to sound really badass, and quite frankly, sometimes it sounds like he's about to turn it into a porno instead of a promo. Like he could use a deep voice and sound sensual at some points. And like he wants a fuck scene or something. And to be told, there's two kinds of mic skills that you can have. You can have the skill to use your delivery and make the crowd really hype, or you can just use it to keep the crowd on lockdown. With Randy Orton, I think he tries to do the latter, ends up doing the first thing too. Okay, stolen moves. Randy Orton steals moves. People say the same thing about Michelle McCool. She steals moves from TNA wrestlers and quite frankly it doesn't make any sense because most people don't innovate moves for example Undertaker's tombstone pile driver was a move that he found from Andre the Giant anyway his strange faces guess it's strange for us guys but I'm sure pretty sure that a lot of girls these days are into some pretty weird shit and he tries to sound aggressive and intimidating by doing those strange faces let's be honest if some extremely buff guy were to contort his face and act like he's about to whoop your ass and go crazy you'd be a little bit intimidated I guess that's what he's going for intimidation now boring matches alright this is something that we can have more importance with his matches are somewhat boring if you watch them consecutively but that's the fault of the WWE writers because they keep doing the same shit over and over and over again you can see Randy Orton doing the same moves again and again in a row yet you see this problem with John Cena now John Cena is on the slow pace and he's doing those giant leg drops and before when he went on more fast paced matches he was like a pinball going back and forth across the ropes before that, um, well, I don't know much about Marine Cena because I never saw WWE, the WWE, like, from 2007 all the way to 2009. I don't know about Marine Cena at all. Or how he did his matches. I can tell you that Ruthless Aggression Cena, the rapper gimmick, he did the same shit over and over again, too. He would always hit someone with his chain try to hit someone with his chain so you'll see that Randy Orton's matches do get boring or slow as hell right now but they'll change your style to something that you'll find interesting and then they'll eventually get boring and boring and boring that's the fault of the shitty writers for the matches they have very little imagination I mean, in Ring of Honor, your move sets expands a little because you're not being asked to to get rid of your moves to have a technique deficit for your character. Okay, he's an Austin ripoff. That's what you say. Well, I get it. Austin's the Rattlesnake. Orton's the Viper. They have similar move sets now, but at the same time, 
to say that he's an Austin ripoff is an insult to both of them because it ignores the minor differences that each of them have. With Randy Orton, he's he, yes, I admit he's also a crazy jobber. I mean, not jobber, brawler. <laughs> What kind of botch did I come up with? But that's pretty much it. They got a lot of differences. They're different in their finishers. They're different in their intervals of what they do. When Austin, Austin's more of a punch, 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 stomp, punch, 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 stomp kind of guy. You can go and type down. Brothers of Destruction versus Stone Cold and Triple H. He's more of a punch, punch, stomp kind of guy. Randy Orton, he either like goes crazy, contorts, hammers away, or he's bouncing around the ring like a pinball, kind of like John Cena. Their fighting style and their gimmicks are noticeably different. But they have similarities, that's all. To say that they're a ripoff ignores the fact that Randy Orton tries to take a lot of stuff from many different people. Alright, I don't know why that took so long. Okay. The fact that Randy Orton's overrated. Well, is Randy Orton overrated? Yes. But overrated can mean a lot of things. Shawn Michaels is overrated. Shawn Michaels does have a good move set and his techniques are great. Not to say that he's a piece of shit and that he basically made it big as a silver spoon ignores the fact that since his debut, Randy Orton's job until he made it to Evolution Afterwards, when he got his ass kicked off of Evolution epically, and he was made to look like a jackass, 2005, he lost his WrestleMania match to Undertaker trying to end his career, and he lost his SummerSlam match against Hulk Hogan. So, to say he doesn't deserve to end certain people's careers ignores the fact that the careers he does end are very mild like these classic icons but he fails to get rid of the sort of Superman type characters the high icons alright I know this is slow pace but that's kinda my thing anyway shitty gimmick we already went there, I think. First, he was a legend killer. Then he was the Viper. Legend killer is a very disliked character amongst certain people, and because they feel like who's Orton to try and do this shit, and a lot of people diss the whole Viper gimmick, saying it's stupid. But, with all that being said, his gimmicks are crappy. They're just a right idea gone wrong lane thing. You can blame this for the bad decisions they made with Randy Orton. I mean, why the fuck did they make Randy Orton waste his time? That shitty ass tag team. Rated RKO. Okay. And the last argument I'll get to on most important arguments that he wants to fuck Cena. And this is a rumor, he doesn't want to fuck Cena. He's just using Cena to make Chris Jericho jealous. I'll leave it at that. So you bring up a lot of good points. I could have made better arguments, but I think what I said is pretty good. Um,
can continue talking about this if you're interested. I delve deep into if Orton really sucks as bad as you say he does, or is he mediocre at worst? All right, this is Mr. Wonka Seven or Leon Red or whatever the fuck they call me, and suck my dick, y'all niggas.